dear friends today we are going to talk about a barbending schedule of the y shaped columns barbending schedule is a list of reinforcement bars of a given rcc work item and is presented in a tabular form for a easy virtual references this table summarizes all the needed particular of the bars diameter shape of bending length of each bend and straight portion angles of bending total length of each bar and number of each type of the bar this information is a great help in preparing an estimate of quantities today we are going to discuss about the y shaped columns the remaining will come in the future presentations bar bending schedule of y shaped floor columns Y shaped column is generally provided outside the building for a transformer purposes and it has no extension to construct further column so the hook length is not added to the top of the main bars assumption vertical main bars is 12 mm all the longitudinal bars that is the ties or stirrups is 8 mm spacing between the stirrups are a longitudinal bars 100 mm center to center and 0.1 meter overlap length that is 50 d of the dia of the bar see this is the image of a y shape columns here you can see the column outer outer is 1 meter whereas the reinforcement ring is 950 that is directing after 25 mm both the sides of the column the column height is, is 3 meter this vertical height is 1.9 meter this is given the column width is 300 mm whereas it is actually it is 25 mm after directing the cover here you can also you can see it off okay so this will be the top mesh will be provided here to find the length of the main bar required for a y type column the column is divided into two parts inclined bar and straight bar to keep it clear we calculate each bar separately as there is no further construction on this column the concreting cover is directed on all the sides of the columns after deduction of the concreting cover from the all the sides below are the dimension of the main reinforcement of the OS column see here you can see after directing the cover it is 950 mm this is a column which is goes 25 mm this portion is 35 mm that is 350 mm 350 mm this height is 575 okay this inclined portion is 873 this is based on the Pythagoras theory that has been explained here also as per Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse 2 is equal to opposite 2 plus adjacent 2 Hypotenuse 2 is equal to 0 0.5752 plus 0 0.352. Hypotenuse is 673 millimeter. This is the hypotenuse I am talking about it. 673. This is the things. From the figure of the bars. Inclined bar 6, straight bars 2. Length of each straight bar is equal to 1.9 plus 0.575 is equal to 2.475 meter. Length of each inclined bar is equal to 1.9 plus 0.673 is equal to 2.573 meter. Refer the earlier sketches. The total length of the inclined bar is equal to number of inclined bars into length of each inclined bar. 6 into 2.475 is equal to 14.85 meter. The total length of the straight bar is equal to number of straight bars into length of straight bar that is 2 into 2.573 is equal to 5.146 meter total length of the main reinforcement total length of the incli inclined bars plus the total length of the straight bars that is 14.85 plus 5.146 is equal to 20 meter total number of bars required considering the bar length is a 12 meter 20 divided by 12 is equal to 1.67 bars Weight of the steel required for a 1 mm 12 bar, 1 meter of 12 dia bar is equal to d6 d square divided by 162 that is 122 divided by 0 0.162 
is equal to 0.88 kg per running meter of the tall dia bar. So, total weight of the steel required for a main bars, total length of the main bars that is into 0.8 that is 20 into 0.88 is equal to 17.6 kg that is the main bars is required for a vertical members. VBS of the longitudinal reinforcement in Y shape column that is we call the tie or a stirrups. The vertical reinforcement calculation of Y type column is also divided into two parts. Look at the below picture for a more details. This is the part 1 that is the vertical portion. This is part 2 that is the inclined portion. Part 1 will have 1.9 meter, part 2 will be 0.876 running meter that is makes you 2.875 running meter. Here I given you the calculation of the top stirrups, each stirrups we have calculated the rate of 100 mm center to center. So, I given every distances of each type. Part 1, total hook length hook length is equal to 90 number of hooks is 2 that is the hook length number of dia is 2 lengths so total hook length is 90 plus 90 that is 18 into 0 0.008 mm is equal to 0 0.144 meter total bond length bent at the 135 degree number of bends that bend at 135 degree is equal to 2 bend length is equal to 3d so, number of bends is equal to 3D that is, is equal to 2 into 3 into 0 0.008 that is 0 0.048 meter total bend length bent at the rate of 90 degree number of bend at 90 degree is equal to 3 bend length is equal to 2D into number of bends into 3 dia that is 3 into 2 into 0 0.008 is equal to 0 0.048 total bend length of each type 0 0.48 plus 0 0.48 is equal to 0 0.96 total length of the each type is equal to perimeter of the tie plus total hook length minus total bend length see whenever you are having a what i call the bend length hook length it will be turning around the circle that is what i am calling it as that total will be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.144 plus 0 minus 0 0.96 that is a 2 dia hooks is equal to 1.048 meter. Number of a ties is equal to 1.9 divided by 0.1 that is equal to plus 1 will be 20 ties. So, total name length of the first part longitudinal reinforcement is equal to 20 into 1.048 part equal to 20.96 in part running two, each tie length is varied so the length of the each tie is calculated separately for accurate dimension use pythagoras theorem to find the unknown length however d is the same for all the ties so the hook length and bend length is same for the all ties here you can see the length is varies ok whenever you are turning around a bend because you have to tie around all the four sides you will have a bend length this length will be 0 0.651 we said 100 mm center to center so it will be 5 ties this is a I called as a part 2 ok now let us talk about hook length of each tie hook length is equal to 9 dia number of hooks is 2 you can see that one hook will be coming from this side you have to visualize it total hook length is equal to 2 into 9 d that is 144 millimeter number of ties there is a 0.575 plus 0.1 plus 0 0.1 uh, five, 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 0.575 divided by 0 0.1 that is center to center plus 1 you require 6 ties total bend length bent at 135 degree number of bends at 135 degree is equal to 2 bend length is equal to 3 dia is equal to number of bends into 3d 
that is 2 into 3 into 0 0.008 is equal to 0 0.048 meter total bend length at 90 degree that is what you require when you closing area number of bends bent at 90 degree is 3 bend length is equal to 2d into is equal to number of bends into 3 dia that is 3 into 2 into 0 0.008 is equal to 0 0.048 meter total bend length of each tie is equal to 0 0.048 plus 0 0.048 is equal to 0 0.096 meter first tie length from the top this is what i am talking about the first tie <coughs> perimeter of the tie plus total to hook length minus total bend length okay it will be 0 0.341 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.341 plus 0 0.144 you understood what i am talking about it this is the total length of 341 one side second side another 3 341 that is the hook length and bend length M minus 0 0.096 that is two bends will be coming around for closing the sides will make you 1.23 meter second tie length as per the same above formula will make you 1.47 running meter third tie from the top again the same formula 1.74 meter fourth tie from the top using the same formula will come down to 1.96 meter fifth tie from the long top is again the same formula will be 2.204 that will be the top tie so the total length of the second part longitudinal reinforcement of all the five ties that is 2.204 plus 1.96 plus 1.71 plus 1.47 plus 1.23 it is equal to 8.57 total calculation of the tie calculation used for y column total number of the ties first tie length plus second tie length is equal to 20 plus 95 plus 829.53 weight of a steel required for 1 meter of 8 mm bar d square divided by 162 that is 82 divided by sorry 64 into divided by 162 that will be 0.39 kg per running meter sorry for the typographical error of 82 it should be read as 64 total weight of the steel required for a ties total length of the longitudinal reinforcement into 0.39 that is 29.53 into 0.39 is equal to 11.51 kg this, there is also a top mesh above the y column to hold the reinforcement intact look at the below image for more details about the mesh provide among space between 0 0.1 meter center to center this is the mesh i am talking about it because we had a 250 is a bit so this will be 250 we had a <coughs> length of 950 so it be 950 <coughs> length of x bar 95 meter 0.95 meter length of y bar is equal to <coughs> 0.25 meter number of x bar 0.25 divided by 0.1 plus 1 4 bars number of y bar is 11 bars total length of the x bar <coughs> 4 into length of the x bar that is 4 into 95 3.8 meter total length of the bar is equal to 3.8 plus 2.75 is 6.55 running meter weight of a steel required d square by 162 that is for a 12 mm bar that is 144 divided by 162 will be 0.88 kg per running meter total weight of the steel 6.55 into 0.88 is equal to 5.764 kgs which is required for the top mesh thank you for watching this presentation kindly subscribe like and share which will motivate me for a further good presentation in case of any queries do not hesitate to write to me response shall be at the earliest contact me at civilconclavegmail.com or at my telegram group asrini telegram groups the link is as follows please kindly subscribe like and share which will motivate me for a furthermore good presentation